it's Around Town with Mandy. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting in this blue room in a blue chair. It looks like a doctor's office, right? You are correct. Allergy season. So I have stopped in to Annapolis Allergy and Asthma right here in Centerville, Dr. Gell's. Oh, I am in for a treat. I'm here to get allergy tested. Here goes nothing. So we're here with Dr. Gels. Hello, Dr. Gels. Hello, Mandy. How are you? Good. And tis the season. Absolutely. So I'm here to get allergy tested, but tell us a little bit about um, what's going to happen allergy testing. So here you are in the chair where we see a lot of our allergy patients. Skin testing will find things that, for instance, you can do a blood test and find E antibody, not to get too technical, but E antibody is is what we're looking for. It's necessary for causing allergic reactions. Um, The prick testing is the first level, uh, and most people who are very allergic will have a reaction in their skin if we prick them to the things they're allergic to. And it happens quick, within 10 minutes. Interesting. You can measure it. We can compare it to controls. Uh So there's some standardization that's been done over the decades. So um, it helps know what you're allergic to now as opposed to years ago um, or following, say, allergy shots. Someone may have started allergy shots. They got desensitized. They're no longer allergic to some of the things they came in with. And that's helpful to me because I can change, I can reformulate an allergy extract, say, someone who's no longer allergic to weeds, I can take that out, give them more of what they need. Something else. It's very individualized. Allergies are very specific, so they have to be very individualized to the patient. To the patient. And they're in for a treat because we're going to go up against each other. Yes, we're going to compete we're going to and compete. See, see what kind of allergies we have. And I, may, I might be quite different than you, being growing up in a different part of the country, right? So you grew up... Here, right, born and raised. Local, right. So, and I've been here, as I say, for 30 years, but I've also lived in the Midwest, and uh, there so may be some, some differences. There could be some differences. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the allergy testing has begun, Dr. Gels. Oh, I see, okay. So this is Tara. Hello. So explain to us what we're doing here. All right, I'm going to just clean your arms off with the alcohol, uh-huh. and I'm just going to touch with these little plastic multi-skin tests. It takes three seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, kind of tickles. Sure. Tara, uh, yeah. <laughs> So this is trees, trees, ragweed, saline, mold, 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 histamine. Histamine. Histamine is something your body releases when you come to something that you're allergic to. It's a normal response. We want something to happen there. So that one with yeah. the X is going to be itchy. It's going to be itchy. Oh, they tickle. <laughs> they tickle. You know what that means? You have, <laughs> you have kid left in you. So this is uh, Bermuda grass, grass, dog, cat, saline, dust mice, and our positive control. Here we have um, Johnson grass, and then we have our cult- grass. yeah. Then we have our cultivated fields: corn, oat, rye, and wheat. Because we live in Centerville, Eastern Shore. Now they're gonna itch like crazy. This is what I do to people: I write on them, I make them itch, and I'm really good at it. Don't rub, don't scratch. When I come back in 15 don't minutes, no. Yeah, if I, if it's still it just when I come back, and it will. I've got cream. Cream is good. She has green. Between now and throughout the testing, if you have any of the following, let me know right away. Eyes and nose start wandering, itching, sneezing, clearing your throat, you just don't feel right, let me know. Holler time. Holler. All right, so now, now Dr. Gels is up. What's left on? Now me? Now she. All right. So, you want, you want to just do it get here? Up? Sure. Okay. No, you you're both? good. Yeah, well, yeah, you want to do it all? He's going to get matching dots. So, I... I suspect I'm going to be positive for grasses. That was the last Well, we kind of knew that. Grasses? Grasses. What about this one she put on me? Bermuda, what did she say? Johnson grass? Johnson grass. Johnson and Bermuda are southern grass. We don't have much Johnson around here. We have some, but it's it's overlap with with southern grass. Northern grasses are Timothy, Meadow, Fescue, and the ones you put in your yard. Um, Phew, that is stinky, stinky Stinky. alcohol. It doesn't tickle you. He doesn't have any kid left in him. (laughs) <laughs> I'm like you. So, um, Timothy grass is, is very hardy. They use it a Timothy. lot. Timothy. Yeah. That's what yeah, they make. That's what's around. Um, Bermuda grass is usually on the sports fields. Oh, yeah. You know? So the kids are up on it. Oh. Whatever marker malfunction, that's okay. We have a backup. <laughs> backup. It's because of all the. Alcohol. The alcohol is not on there. She wanted to make sure it was disinfected. Yeah. All right. And one more. You are 
have been tested for any of these. Johnson and the cultivated fields. Cultivated fields. So it's become sensitized. All right. Here. 15 well, how minutes. How long have we been here? Almost five years. We five years this June. Five years we've been in this location. Yeah. All right. 15 minutes. I'll be back. You can move. Just don't rubber scratch. Now we wait. Don't rubber scratch. Don't rubber scratch. 15 minutes later, Tara is here to read our results. All right, I need both your arms. Oh, sorry. So these are our positive controls, which look fab. Uh, so we want them to be yeah, red. We, we want them to look like a big old mosquito bite. And they do. Um, and then I just write the <clears throat> results here. How's the itching? Um, it's not severe, but it itches. It itches. Let me clean you off, and as promised, I'll put some happy cream on it. She said we get happy cream. Happy cream. That just looks like a red dot. Yeah. Let's actually try them cinnamon cream. Mm. A lot. That's soothing. <laughs> Does it make you happy? Yeah. See? It's happy cream. All right. All right. So what's Dr. Her, Gills? What's her reading? These are all. These are. Ne they're all negative. Uh, we're we're in a competition. Nothing. Uh, so Dr. Gills' <laughs> turn. Mine is not nothing. Yours is something. He has big something. bumps. All right. Wow. You, yeah. You he, more than I thought you did. He's really bumpy. All right. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> so that. So you're should... measuring the size. Correct? Yeah, I'm measuring. See when I push down? Oh yes. White. Uh huh. That's what I'm measuring. Okay. It's called a wheel. W h e a l. And huh? Oh. Lots of trees. <laughs> this is ragweed. Do you know about the ragweed? This is the difference. See, in the Midwest we had a lot of ragweed, so I grew up cutting grass that had a lot of ragweed on the right, outside. It. So it reflects previous exposure. You're born with the genes, apparently I have genes, and then live in different parts of the country and you get exposed to more. So Interesting. Bermuda grass. Bermuda. And then our other and positive. And oh, look who's allergic to the eastern shore. Look at that. Yeah. He's got a lot. See, it pays to be born here. Yeah, I've become allergic to, what are these? Oat, rye, and wheat. Mm. But corn, corn is okay. in there. Well, we're not done yet. Well, I don't think we have to go in. We've, we've explained it. Oh no, we were, yes. we have, okay. No, we're done. So what's this one over here? Uh, Johnson grass. Yeah, and then there. corn is negative. Right. I have to say it does feel good. <laughs> Told you, wait till you get the cream. Wow. Yeah. Nice, huh? The cream's worth it. So in the race to who's allergic to whom? Dr. What? Dr. Dr. More bumps. <laughs> More bumps than Mandy. I'm surprised. What did you hear? Uh, the dermatologist got a hold of me. Uh -oh. Funky moles, they do happen. So, as we were discussing, yes. so that is the first basic of allergy test. Yes, so these <laughs> show that I have fairly brisk allergic reactions to environmental pollen. Uh-huh. Um, she didn't tell me all about the rest of them. She's filling in our negative. Yeah, so uh, moles were fine. Dog, dog was fine. Yes. Yeah. Oh, cat was fine. Uh, grass is fine. Bermuda grass is not fine. You're allergic to Bermuda grass. Allergic to Bermuda grass. Are fine. And then the uh, eastern shore pollen, which is pretty bad. Yeah. So prick testing is is um, it's sensitive, but it's not as sensitive as there's another level of allergy testing that we can go on to, and that's okay. dermal testing if we need to. So, for instance, Tara's asking about dog. I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to some dogs. It didn't show up on prick testing, and we have seen a number. In fact, it was even earlier today or yesterday that we did a prick test with negative dog and intradermal. Yes, the young youngster. Oh yeah, yeah. Intradermally, which is like a TB test, 
underneath the skin, uh -huh. project a little there. Uh, and that is positive. It's a little bit more sensitive. And that's some of the differences between doing blood tests for, okay. for allergy <laughs> and, pre and skin testing and doing skin testing. The, the blood test is not quite sensitive in some cases. There's it's, it's some nuance there between some of the allergens. Allergens being the, the actual uh, the proteins that you're testing. Okay. So it could be something I come in and be like, I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to this, but I'm not sure. But it, it may not show up. But if you do another... Right type of testing yeah. it will so show up. We have the ability to be more sensitive <clears throat> to looking at that. What you're looking at statistics, a positive predictive value, negative predictive value. It goes into saying, okay, finally, here you are, Mandy. You've told me what symptoms you have, the timing of your symptoms, your environment. Then I compare that to what things I find on skin testing and I can say, okay, well, you probably have allergic rhinitis, rhino being nose, clogged nose, itchy nose, or allergic conjunctivitis, or some forms of asthma, asthma being, asthma being tightness, coughing, wheezing, um, that can be triggered by allergies. It also can be triggered by exercise and viruses. Right. But if you're somebody who has recurrent symptoms, if you want better quality of life, if you keep having sinus infections or sinus pain or pressure, if you find every cold goes down to your chest, you'll want to know what allergies are contributing, as they say, like water behind a dam, it just all adds up. So if you can deal with one allergen or the main allergen, then you could tolerate a little virus here or there without a problem. So you may want to know that you're allergic to dog, because you have a dog or several dogs at home right. or you're jumping in bed, right? <clears throat> this is questions that we have to ask. Um, it's a decision. So. Maybe if you can remove the dogs from the bed, maybe you don't have to have such heavy exposure, then the rest of your allergies are more tolerable and can respond to medication. And that's a lot of things we're also recommending, avoidance of medication. When these don't work, then we can give you allergy shots. And allergy shots are a way to desensitize somebody over time so you're no longer allergic, so you don't have to use the medication for relief. You have a better quality of life. Um, and you can keep your dog or cat or whatever animal you might have. Right. A lot of interest in, in horses recently. <clears throat> so people are allergic to horses and that can be part of the allergy injections. So medication, you're taking medicine to make you feel better, but you're still as allergic as ever. Yes. There are also newer medications called biologics or monoclonal antibodies that also block symptoms in a very high technical way, but it doesn't change the body's allergy still you're treating symptoms in a much higher higher science. But what allergy injection, the allergy immunotherapy, which has been done over decades, is you're desensitizing something. So somebody is no longer allergic to the allergens that are triggering and bothering them. So they can they can be outside in the pollen or be around the animals that they're allergic to or they're handling. So we have people in different professions that have to have certain exposure. So if you're in uh, uh, it, it, police, uh, Social workers, Firemen. canine, canine crew, Firemen. right? Yeah. Firemen, you have to be exposed. So uh, there's no option. So uh, we, they have to go forth and, and, and work without being either de dealing with symptoms or um, having to take medication that might affect them, making them drowsy. Right. People in the trees, uh, you know. Naming Line. the lines. Oh, yeah, Line. linemen or things like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's interesting to hear about how one's profession might affect the obligatory exposure there. <coughs> so. True. Thanks. There you are. So, the, so I beat you. <laughs> you did win. I have more allergies than you. I was expecting a lot more. I thought she'd have more. I know. Yeah. So that concludes our allergy testing. But. If someone is inquiring about allergy testing, tell us where you're located. Oh. <laughs> so here you are, Tara. We're at uh, 227 North Liberty Street. It's right in right Centerville. Right here in Centerville. Uh, yeah, give us a call and our phone number is 410-758-6700. What he said. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, just give us a call. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Maybe. Thanks for coming. Definitely. It was a delight. And if you're looking for an allergist, right in Centerville. Right here. We'll see you next week. Hey, it's Mandy. Like, around town with Mandy? Yes, and my job is to go around Centerville and promote the businesses and local events. I've been all over Centerville, but I can go 
pretty much anywhere in Queen Anne's County. So if you have a business in Queen Anne's County, leave me a comment or send me a message.